Hello everyone! In today's video I'll go over the strongest characters in the series and will try to decide on who the strongest character is so far. Other than a few characters that could be very powerful, we've seen almost everyone's powers to their utmost limit. And this analysis will not just include the Alliance members, but it'll also include the Skibidi Toilets as well. I'll talk about who would win if there was a battle between the three Titans, and if any other entities could win against the Titans if they went against them. We'll also compare the powers of TV Woman, Plunger Cameraman, Mech Scientist Cameraman, Camera Woman, and more. So if you don't want to miss anything interesting, make sure to watch the video until the end. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are getting close to 100,000 subscribers, thanks to everyone that supports the channel. Anyways, here we go. Let's first start with Plunger Cameraman, since he is one of the most liked characters in the series, and one that has been getting more and more screen time lately. Even though we still haven't really seen how the Plunger Cameraman fights lately, especially with all of his upgrades, we can assume that he is a lot more powerful compared to Episode 39, where we did get to see him fight for the first time from a first-person point of view. In episode 39, he was almost killed by a skibbity toilet that had jetpacks, and this might be the reason that he decided to get a jetpack upgrade between episodes 51 and 52. Episode 52 was the last time we saw him fight, and from the looks of it, he is quite the force to be reckoned with. As we can see, he is very fast with his jetpack movements, and it looks like he is so used to the battlefield that at this point, fighting is like breathing for him. He also had a camera upgrade in this episode and had a blue shining camera, but in episode 55, this was gone. His secondary camera isn't bright anymore. This could mean a couple of things. It might be a camera that opens at nighttime like a flashlight, because every time we saw the camera lit up, it was at nighttime to be able to see more clearly, especially while flying because of how dark it can get. Or it could be that it opens up when he is hyped and ready to fight because in episode 55, he looked like he was tired and had a different vibe compared to before. But we also see him on top of a huge pile of skibidi toilets that he flushed and killed from the looks of it. No matter how you look at it, Plunger Cameraman is one of the strongest cameraman at this point, but I don't think that he is even close to any of the strongest characters in the series. He probably is in the top three when it comes to the strongest cameramen, but since we know Dafuk is trying to include him more and more, I feel like he'll keep on getting stronger, and even his plungers might get an upgrade later on, which will allow him to go to even crazier heights. But for now, I'll put him right under Titan Cameraman, because I don't think that either the new mech scientist cameraman or the camera woman can beat him. But I'll get to that later in the video, so make sure to watch the video until the end. Before I move on to Camera Woman and TV Woman, I would like to add that the Plunger Cameraman is also a lot more brave compared to other entities, and he never backs down no matter what. This was shown in Episode 50 when he was walking towards the battlefield while everyone was running away. So that gives him an extra advantage in fights. Compared to him, the TV race is the exact opposite, and they run away literally the second they sense a danger that could hurt them in any way. Even though TV Woman is one of the strongest and most overpowered characters in the series, after what we saw in episode 55, she would most likely escape the battlefield if she was in danger. But this doesn't mean that she would get in danger easily because her abilities are a little too OP. We know that she doesn't even need her body to live, and she controls anyone she wants if she uses her TV claws. She can also stun and pull most likely anyone other than the Titans and G-Man Skibidi Toilet. We actually don't know if the purple beam would work against large Skibidi toilets, but I would assume it does, since she can fly her head to their face and use it up close. And that's not it, she also had an orange inferno beam that burns down flesh. The problem with this ability is that we don't know if it would work against Alliance members since they are mechanical, and when she used this ability in episode 49, only the flesh of the Skibidi toilet burned down, so it might not work against the Alliance members if there were to be an internal fight. She might also have powers that we don't know of yet because her TV might have the ability to use other colors and powers. All these included with her teleportation and her being able to beat the glitch Skibidi toilet easily in episode 54, even though people were saying that the glitch Skibidi toilet was one of the most powerful Skibidi toilets, puts her very high on the list. My guess would be that she goes right under the Titans and is the strongest entity in the Alliance after Titans. 
Even though she most likely cannot beat any of the Titans or the G-Man Skibidi toilet, I don't think that she would be beaten by them as well because of her skill set. She can most likely escape any scenario when it comes to fights. Before we get to the Titans and G-Man, let's talk about the newly introduced Camera Woman. We haven't really seen her abilities to their full extent, but we can guess how powerful she is with what we got so far. As you know, she was introduced in episode 52, and we learned that she has two different modes. One is the blue camera light, and the other is the red camera light. She can most likely switch between these two modes whenever she wants, and the red mode allows her to lock on too many targets at once. We don't know if there is a limit to this, but from the looks of it so far, the limit would be her ammo count. And she shoots her darts with extreme precision. There is no way of knowing how strong her darts are for now, since she only killed a few normal skibbity toilets, but we know that her crossbow-like sniper is very strong. If she has the ability to shoot more than one bullet at the same target, or maybe even use special darts like explosive ones or ones with poison, she most likely could kill any giant skibbity toilet without armor. We don't really know her range, but I'm assuming that her range is very long and she could just stand on a roof far away and shoot everyone. The main problem for her arises if we were to talk about melee combat. If she were to get in a fist fight, I really don't think she would have any chance of surviving considering that it takes time for her to switch to her red mode and lock on a target. This alone puts her under Plunger Cameraman. But compared to Plunger Cameraman and TV Woman, I think she could somehow deal with the Titans if she had the right technology. Imagine if she could get her hands on some EMP-type dart that affects electronics and locks onto the Titans and shoots the special darts to them. This would disable them giving her the win, but this most likely is a very unlikely scenario. Now let's talk about who the strongest Titan is between the three Titans. Before getting into this, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and comment down below who you think is the strongest Titan. When talking about the strongest Titan, I'll be using their best versions. As you know, the Titan Cameraman has been getting upgraded more and more. Also, the Titan Cameraman is sadly in a recovery state after what happened in Episode 47. And as far as I know, the Titan Speaker Man is still the same as before, other than being infected. I do think that the Titan Speaker Man and the Titan TV Man are going to get upgrades very soon to match the power scales. But right now, we all most likely know that the upgraded Titan Cameraman is most likely the strongest character in the series, unless the secret agent has special powers that exceeds him, but I'm not going to get into that since we don't really know anything about him. What makes the upgraded Titan Cameraman so OP is that he has an insane variety of skills at this point. As you know, he has his core, which shoots blue flames, and his laser blaster on his left hand. Even though it was destroyed in episode 55, I'll still count it in. He has his hammer that's insanely powerful, and also his right hand, which can change into different weapons, including a magnet hand and a finger gun. This hand most likely has even more variations that we haven't seen so far. The only disadvantage the Titan Cameraman has is that he is very slow and heavy. We saw this in episode 53 when he tried to kill the UFO Skibidi Toilet, but he failed. This does affect his power level a little bit, but since he mostly fights with large and giant threats, it doesn't really put a toll on him since those guys are slower as well. When it comes to the Titan Speaker Man, he most likely is the least powerful among the three Titans right now. It's not like he is not powerful, but when we were introduced to him in episode 26, he was very powerful, but he never got any upgrades so far. And back then, he was struggling to kill giant skibbity toilets, which the Titan Cameraman and Titan TV Man would kill with one shot. This problem also occurred in episode 32, when Titan Speaker Man was having issues trying to kill a military skibbity toilet. He did flush it, but if he just killed him a little faster and escaped, he wouldn't have gotten infected at all. In a fight between any Titans, he would be the one to lose right now, unless he got some upgrades. We already know that he wasn't winning against the Titan TV man, and they had to gang up on him to beat him in episode 47 with some of the most powerful beings in the Skibidi universe. When you think about this, even though Titan TV man didn't win the battle that day, he was so powerful that they couldn't kill him, they did damage him a lot. But remember the last time this happened to the Titan Cameraman in Episode 20, the Titan Cameraman came back a lot more stronger than before. This means that when the Titan TV Man comes back, he will be much stronger and will most likely become the strongest Titan even beating the upgraded Titan Cameraman's current power. But that's beside the point. 
Right now, the thing that would decide who wins the battle between Titan Cameraman and TV Man is if the Titan Cameraman is affected by Cinema Man's TV beams. Because if he is Cinema Man already, might be stronger than the Titan Cameraman, but we don't know that yet, so I can't really say much about it. When it comes to pure strength, they are both insanely powerful. We know that Cinema Man is very strong because of his punch in episode 44, and as you know, Titan Cameraman is incredibly strong as well, he just demonstrated his powers again in episode 55 while going against the giant bathtub Skibidi toilet and the skull Skibidi toilet. In a hand-to-hand -hand battle, I would say that it would be a tie right now, but if they were to use their gadgets, that's a different story. I really don't think that Cinema Man could defend himself against the gadgets the Titan Cameraman has right now. That was the reason I said he is the strongest right now. Cinema Man isn't really equipped with anything long-range other than his TV beam, and if it doesn't affect the Titan Cameraman, there isn't much he can do in a battle against him, so what do you think? Who do you think is the strongest in the Skibidi universe? Let me know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.